Hi everyone, this is Big Daddy from Alliance123. Welcome to another new video. So it's been a few days. I have been on holiday uh, with my girlfriend um, visiting Thailand so and also family. So we had shalons. So that was a fun time and we scored a lot like which doesn't make sense we shouldn't have scored that much because not a lot of the other alliance healed um but yeah still we ended up with 497k so pretty pretty good and unfortunately there is not any reports or defense reports from my side because i didn't get hit and basically no one in my alliance actually got hit so uh, in that sense, it was just kind of boring. We just kept rallying and uh, zeroed as many people as we could. There were a few 30 billion, 20 billion, uh, which eventually got zeroed by us as well. So, and I, um, I was shocked to get this mail while in Battlefield. Uh, shout out to Beautiful Gate from Alliance RIP. Uh, pretty awesome very humbled you know it's uh, very kind of him to send a uh, mail and yeah i appreciate you man thank you <laughs> um so that's that so today's video i mean the event is ending soon uh, i am kind of annoyed uh because i'm in fifth place um when the event began i basically the first day I didn't do much, but since the second day I've been like basically fishing all the time. Every time this thing resets after two hours, I keep checking and doing it, but um, I'm not coining. So unfortunately, whoever uh, coined took uh, my second and third spot uh, with a lot of scores. So I don't think I, I'll make it without coining. Which is unfortunate because I like the castle, you know. Um, it's uh, the buffs are really, really good in the castle. Like, look at this one: construction speed forty percent, ground troop and mounted troop attack twenty, and ground troop and mounted troop HP twenty. Like, and it's a really nice looking castle. It's all about the looks, right? <laughs> so I'm I'm a bit sad. Uh, we're still not coining uh someone bought a uh, few needed some gems and stuff that's all they bought really other than that no one has been coining in our alliance so that's that so what i'm doing is i'm gonna log into my 1188 account and we're gonna do some fishing right and when you're bored during coin strike I mean, what can you do other than fishing in the game, you know? We had SVS um, and 123 conquered, but, and yeah, there wasn't much action. The other, uh, the enemy server didn't really rally us, didn't do anything. We were just sitting there in their throne and pretty, it was a pretty smooth uh, conquer. All right, so here we have 10, so, I actually forgot to use this so prime c is where you should be using all of this uh this one is the lantern lets you uh once you reach a certain depth uh you need the lantern for light otherwise it goes dark this indicates rare species this gives you an extra bit of protection on your hook so as you're uh, descending uh down and uh, your hook uh, has like a protection this gives you an extra one so you get three instead of two prime c is where all the rare ones are there i i've been doing uh, i've been uh, doing the fishing event on this account like a little bit here and there so not a lot um all right so your target is to get all this uh, 
you know the rare species uh, try to avoid the common fish uh, as you can see on the left hand side there is three by three that's the protection you usually get two uh, when you use that protection you get three out of three so if I by mistakenly graze or touch any fish on the down way um, it's not gonna right away catch it uh, so I have one more left the moment I touch one more fish I should be over ah, a rare box so those boxes I don't think I've collected much but we've been doing pretty good all right so as soon as I said we've been doing pretty good I, <laughs> I ended up all right I got a sword so I want this box uh, this squid tuna all right yeah they were all rare so nothing I haven't caught before other than the dagger and the box which is pretty cool 500 points for one go let's have a look here and you go into here click on the gems and you get your points right and this is only to upgrade fishing gear okay so and this box this is completely new one again how much do i get 100 score awesome and a little, little bit of gems so um when you do the regular one i usually don't use them i maybe you can use a lantern but you have an option to do this but when you do this you don't have enough of this item so it tells you that there is not enough so what i do is as i have only two lanterns i'm going to do two chances at first and then i'm going to use the rest of the chances um all right so this is the regular sea and here is where you have to go further down to be able to get the rare fish uh, we saw oh, we saw a few rare items already uh, crap I am not doing good okay oh, all right anyway it's not that's not too bad I'm pretty happy with that if you get stuck like jellyfish and crabs they give you 20 points compared to a lot of even some rare rare ones give you 20 so jellyfish and crabs are not bad in in the regular sea try to get as much of them as you can um, and you'll get a decent bit of score mm -hmm. um, here you go another jellyfish uh, you'll notice here for example right the squid it's kind of rare you have to go a bit downwards to get the squid but look at the crab and jellyfish 20 20 same as the squid right uh, even for this one the stone 20 so in in some cases if you couldn't go as deep as you wanted uh, try to get as many jellyfish and crabs on your way up so you'll get a decent score and we we unlocked a bit of this one and if you had done this too uh, if you had unlocked this two bit you would get a bunch of this uh, C chart and there's another one this one which basically summons at least a new marine creature until the catalog is unlocked so the catalog is this one uh, and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff that is missing here um, pretty sure okay beluga whale and whale shark is something I haven't caught yet all right so now we have eight chances no materials but this is where we're gonna score a lot together and this honestly saves you a lot of time you know and over the weekend as I'm traveling and stuff I didn't I barely logged into this account other than to bubble uh, so I didn't play much SVS on this one um, and it's it's you know it's tough over the weekend you're doing something even if you're if you're I'm not traveling uh, weekends are uh, kind of hard to manage stuff with work and all that so okay we're reaching the dark bit parts 
but as I didn't have a lantern I would have lost light so um, that's fine not bad at all uh, I think I'm gonna get a decent score now if I can get get some crabs and jellyfish on the way up uh, that would be really nice I should score about 3k um, if I can let's have a look yeah 34 24 uh, sorry not that that's not the score sorry 28 uh, 24 is the shells is what's your score and we have unlocked something else here so that's nice because this the every time you fish you earn points and this keeps unlocking so where are we 30k but <laughs> C, C5 is insane, like look at the score, 495, 400k, 397, this, these people are not clearly not, um, you know, coin striking, so, I mean it is what it is, um, so far the update uh, has been good, that uh, the Evany team had a call with our representatives from the coin strike, and uh, they... They actually took down a few of the suggestions like they said uh, they're gonna uh, make a like a program or something where you each player can own up to five owls and they can trade resources within the accounts uh, and there would be no penalties and there was uh, other suggestions or stuff they took down like having a separate server for battlefields to reduce lag um, they haven't this is just they have accepted like some 10 uh 10 of our demands but they haven't implemented anything so uh it's still a long way to go if you're coin striking uh, uh please yeah keep going let's you know keep strong because um at the end of the day if they do implement all of this stuff a lot of uh, it will benefit you right like it will benefit your gameplay it's not like um, you know instead of having a, a crappy game experience you get something a bit better you know of course there will be problems uh, but it will it will definitely reduce the frustration we feel with this game right especially the one that you can all own five owls or whatever and trade resources like that's gonna be a huge help even for free to play players like um, I know some players are gonna be like oh it's gonna only be gonna benefit the whales look even the whales right if they don't have the alts it doesn't matter they will still coin and they will still grow quicker than you so having this extra thing with the five alts uh, at least it will let you uh, like help you kind of go up a bit quicker you know instead of having one account free to play if you have five accounts you can literally uh, i don't know earn like five ten billion per account or something like that and that's gonna help you a lot as well so um yeah let's see what happens thanks for watching uh, and if you get bored as i said during construct coin strike just keep fishing you know catch those rare fish <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching uh, and if you like the video please uh, subscribe leave a comment if you have any video ideas and uh, once again thanks for watching take care bye